Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, JBlue68, coming at you with a late haul. <laughs> a late comic book haul, and there's various reasons why this haul is late. If you've seen my videos that I posted throughout this week, I've been all over the new releases, or the new release of the uh, much sought after book, Absolute Carnage and House of X book 2. Those are in this haul and they will be shown shortly. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the videos that I posted. It was truly an honor to read Ryan Stegman. What a great guy. And um, I'm going to tell you a story about that in a moment. But before we get into this haul and into that story, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers and I want you to share this video. For all you new viewers, hit the like button, hit that bell, and tap or tap that bell so you can get all the cool videos from JBlue68 that you can, and they can drop into your feed immediately. <laughs> okay, all right. So first up, I want to say that the only book that's different in terms of representation of company is the one you see in front of you. And I've heard a lot about this book and I've wanted to get this. This is from the DC Vertical line, American Carnage, issue number nine. And I'm absolutely loving the cover. I, this is a, it's just a gorgeous cover. And the artwork is very different. It looks very atmos atmospheric, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. Is in is it in pr actually profiles the characters in a different way from what I'm used to seeing on, on most of the comic books that I buy. I'm getting more into independent comic books too, and it does not mean I'm straying away from DC or Marvel. I will also always be a Marvel man first, and um, whenever I see anything that DC puts out, I'm going to buy it. But this is the DC Vertical line, uh, one of the spinoffs of DC. So. Again, I'm loving that cover there. Glad to have this book in my collection. Can't wait to read it and get the back issues too. <laughs> or I might just get the trade paperback since we're on issue number nine of the series. Next up, we have Black Cat issue number three. And this is some beautiful artwork here. I just really love the way they draw Black Cat. I, I haven't read the stories as of yet. This is by J. Scott Campbell, very, very popular and well-known artist. Um, he's done a very, very good job on drawing Black Hat. And I cannot wait to read this particular issue, but it looks like she's holding the Eye of Agamotto, which is a weapon or a, a trinket of Doctor Strange. Again, that'll be interesting to read once I get a chance to do that. And here we go, Absolute Carnage number one. I've already begun reading the book. I haven't finished it yet. Again, this has been a very busy week for me, as you've seen from some of the videos that I posted. If you've watched them, I hope you have. If you haven't, please do. And just tell you a brief story um, about me purchasing this book. Is I actually went to get to, to meet Mr. Stegman and do a brief Q&A with him, you know, get to know him and his uh, interest in this book and in the character and why he was wanted to do the Carnage character in the first place. And I got a couple of answers, but before I actually went to the comic book shop, which was Vault of Midnight, by the way, in Detroit, uh, I went to a restaurant called Moots, if I'm correcting, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's spelled M-O-O-T-Z, which is directly right next door to the Vault of Midnight comic book shop. And I went in there to eat, I was really hungry after a long day of work, and guess who was sitting in there with his family? Mr. Ryan Stegman. He was literally right across from me. I wanted to say hello to him, but I didn't want to disturb his meal and him and his family in their time of enjoyment together. Uh, I went to the restroom, and when I came out, guess who was standing right in front of me? Mr. Ryan Stegman. He was there with his son. And I greeted him, and you know we, were, we, we uh, passed each other and said a couple of words. He asked me if I was going to go over to the comic book shop for the signing. I said, yes, of course. And of course I did, and I got this book, but I also got a variant edition for him to sign. And there is his signature right there, if you can see it. Now there were several variant editions of Absolute Carnage that came out, but I decided to get this one and I'll tell you why. Now he was 
charging somewhere around $40 to do an actual sketch, which I think is worth it and is a reasonable price. You know, there are artists who can charge more than that. But I've spent a lot of money on comics book on comic books this week, so I really couldn't afford to do it. So I just had him sign it and he signed it for free. But the benefit is if I get to see him again at another comic book shop or wherever, you know, I'm sure I'll have the money at that time. I can get, have him do a sketch on this book. So I'll have the best of both worlds. I have his autograph and get a sketch on this book. So I'm going to, I bought, I, I purchased the blank variant edition. So again, in case I run into Mr. Stegman again, and if you're watching this video, Mr. Stegman, I hope to meet you again, sir. Thank you for your kindness. Again, thank you for uh, joining us in the city of Detroit, you know, and your artistic genius endeavor on uh, this book and many other project, these projects that you've worked on with this, uh, with Marvel. So I'm glad to have this book and I look forward to meeting him again to get a sketch on the Absolute Carnage Blank Variant Edition. Next up, we have Arrow book number two in this character. And also, by the way, Absolute Carnage spins out of the Real War of Realms story. I should have mentioned that too, as does this character, Arrow, uh, book number two. Uh, she's one of the characters who was featured in the Agents of Atlas story that I did a cover on when I was talking about War of the Realms about a week or two ago. So Arrow, book number two. And I got, of course, Arrow, book number one, uh, which I missed in my previous, uh, from my previous comic book pull list. So I'm glad to have gotten this issue, issues number one and issues number two. I love that art. That's like, man I call it Jap Japanime, but it's actually like manga or manga, uh, which is Japanese art, of course. So I, I like it very much. I haven't read the stories yet. But this is kind of like an origin story for her and a spin-off story, again, from War of the Realms. War of the Realms has really affected the Marvel comic book universe in a positive way. And here's Agents of Atlas, which I just mentioned. Can't wait to read this new story, this new continuous continuous a series of Agents of Atlas, Atlas, which spins out of, as I mentioned, War of the Realms. Uh, and also from the New Agents of Atlas story, which I read, which is a very, very good story. If you haven't read New Agents of Atlas, subtitled War of the Realms, I suggest you get it. The trade paperback is probably out or will be out soon. But yeah, very good storyline. And I can't wait to read this new story line of Agents of Atlas, written by Greg Pak. That's how you pronounce his last name. I used to say Pak. It's not Pak, it's Pak. Issue number one. And some of the characters here, you have Jimmy Wu, uh, Shang Chi or Shang Chai, uh, Luna Snow. So I think it's Luna Snow. Uh, what's that? Swordmaster back there. Arrow, of course. And I don't know all the names of these characters. There's Silk right there. I will pretty soon as I become more and more familiar with them. Uh, I think it's Wave right there, I believe. Or that one of these two are Wave. So, yeah. Cool characters, man. Seriously. Get this book. I'm telling you, something's going to come out of this. Next up, we have Future Foundation. Uh, Spinoff of, of course, the Fantastic Four series. This is book number one. And it says here, from the pages of Fantastic Four, no problem in the multiverse can't be solved by the Future Foundation. I can't read, wait to read that. And he's, of course... Two of the characters in this story are the children of Sue and Dr. Richard Reeds. And she has her own comic book, by the way, which we will show in a few minutes. Next up, we have Major X from Rob Liefeld, who was at the San Diego Comic Con, uh, bragging about his new book and his, in, his endeavors in the Marvel Universe and other previous projects that he's done. That's a very lively guy, man. <laughs> But I'm a little confused, though, this being uh, issue number zero, considering the issue, the series that just ended. But I guess they're restarting the series over again. I guess it's going to be a continuous series, um, spinning off from the miniseries that ended uh, about a, a month or so back. Anyway, Major X, book number zero. And next up, we have a book that has sparked a lot of controversy, a lot of talk, a lot of excitement 
that I haven't seen over an X-Men book in a while. And this is House of X book number two. And oh my God, the story really does deliver and introduces a character that I never thought anything of. Moira, Moira, Moira Metaggart, who I just call her simply the girlfriend of Dr. Professor X. There's a lot going on in this, in this story, man. If you have not read Powers of X, House of Ten, or House of X, Powers of Ten, um, I suggest you get on board with this, this new storyline written by, uh, of course, Mr. Uh, Jonathan Hickman, drawn by the very talented Pepe Larraz. Uh, very beautiful artwork, a very intriguing, fascinating, and exciting story is taking place in these new pages, in the pages of this new X-Men storyline. Get on board this, I'm telling you. And I'll do a review of it pretty soon. And then last but not least, as I forementioned, the Invisible Woman's Miss Sue Reed's, or Miss, excuse me, Mrs. Sue Reed, the wife of Dr. Richard Reed from the Fantastic Four. She has her own solo series going on now, like that cover there. And I'm thinking that might be one of the members of the Black Widow sorority holding a gun. And she looks to be entangled in some type of web. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that story. Uh, uh oh, I haven't read any of the Invisible Woman stories yet. But of course, I plan to. I'm behind on my comic book reading, as always. <laughs> but I plan on catching up. So I'm almost caught, caught up on getting all the books that I want to get. Um, almost caught up. Glad about that, and I hope that you've enjoyed this haul, this brief haul. Um, and again, hit that like button, subscribe, share, tap that bell so you get notifications of any and all videos that I drop so they can drop into your feed immediately. So that's it. That's all, y'all. Hope you have a good day, afternoon, or morning, whatever time and place it is in the world for you. Be kind one to one another. Read a comic book. It can calm the senses, take you out of reality, as I've heard another YouTuber say, and it definitely does do that. Reading is fundamental and enjoyable. Peace, love, and hair grease.